we see pictures like this on the internet, it's easy to jump to conclusions and say, maybe it's aliens, maybe it's a new species we haven't discovered yet. But like most mystical things that we can't explain, the answer usually lies in science. So let's dive into this, shall we? What you're looking at here isn't an alien by any means. It actually is a rare condition called cyclopia, and it has a lot to do with how the face and the brain of the fetus are developed in pregnancy. To find the answer to this, we can go all the way back to 1957, where Idaho sheep farmers were wondering why their sheep were being born with multiple different birth defects, one of them including a cyclops-like eye in the middle of their head. Scientists worked for 11 years on this mystery, and they discovered that the culprit had nothing to do with aliens. It actually had a lot to do with this flower, called the corn lily. During droughts, the sheep would move to higher ground, where these flowers grew in abundance. Although at first it seemed really harmless because the mother sheep wasn't affected at all, the corn lily actually has a poison that was later dubbed as cyclopamine because it stunts the growth of a developing sheep embryo. By one eye, the answer lies in how the face is developed inside the womb. In nature, eyes pretty much always come in pairs of two. There is no vertebrate species that has evolved to develop one eye. When this happens, it usually means that something has gone wrong in development of the fetus. In a developing vertebrate embryo, the brain consists of three different regions, the hindbrain, the midbrain, and the forebrain. It's when the forebrain fails to separate into two distinct lobes that cyclopia can happen. The condition is called holoprosencephaly, or HPE. Cyclopia is the most severe case of HPE. It also happens to be the rarest. There are a lot of environmental factors that can affect the delicate development of an embryo, but in this case with the sheep, we can blame it on cyclopamine. Cyclopamine found in the corn lily blocks a very important gene called the sonic hedgehog gene. And yes, like the game. Sonic hedgehog plays a huge role in cell specialization, cell growth. It has to do with the development of the brain, the spinal cord, the central nervous system. It has to do with a lot. So when that goes wrong, a lot can go wrong. The sonic hedgehog protein is blocked, so the face and the brain can't develop the way they normally do. In the normal development of the face, the eyes will separate, the nose will come down through the eyes, but because the protein is blocked, the eyes do not separate, resulting in a tube-like structure above the eye called a proboscis. On a side note, the complete opposite of this developmental abnormality would be a cleft lip when there's too much separation. So there you have it. It's not an alien, it's just proof that a lot can go wrong in the development stages of a fetus when there are so many little tiny intricate things that affect one another. Also just avoid eating corn lilies at all costs.